Good morning, guys. This is Stephen Howard. My dog, Yekka, is sleeping right there. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning. Well, I was woken up very early this morning by uh, a lot of stress. Um, I think it's release of stress. Um, also, I've been figuring out if you don't have the right vibration around you or the right person around you, it'll throw everything off. So, um, I basically am isolating myself today and I'm going to be hopefully getting my stimulus check tomorrow. Um, I've been really, really broke. <laughs> I need a water pump on my car. Uh, I need to do some laundry. And uh, these are all personal things with my finance. Um, the reason why my abundance has been held up, well, everybody's has. But uh, my stimulus check was sent to Montana. And I couldn't uh, couldn't get it. Also, yesterday I applied for unemployment. And it looks like I may have been approved. So um, I'm just praying and keeping my fingers crossed for all of that. And then I'm hoping that the, the state process here opens up so I can go back to where I feel like I'm at home. Um, I really miss Montana. Uh, I miss my friends. Um, I miss my vibe. I miss my tribe. Um Depending on what happens, um, you know, I, I hope my soulmate will eventually reach out to me. Um, I was ghosted for so long that a friend of mine gave me the suggestion, hey, you know, leave it alone. So I've left it alone for a while and now, and um, I'm just praying and hoping that, that it comes my way. Um, whatever's really meant for you will, will be here for you and whatever you decide to do with your life and your vibration will either attract or detract. Um, I guess I did a lot of detracting. Um, I, I was, I was hurt. I was hurt. I was sad. I was angry. You know, yesterday I looked at the comments on my channel and there's so many great, wonderful comments. And I've also had people like reach out to me and, you know, talk with me about what I'm doing and why. And then after I let them know, they're just like, wow, you know, that's really really brave well I'm not going to stop but and I don't wish heart, harm on anyone I'm like a really big teddy bear down, down inside I'm like Ted you know a bong in a dirty mind <laughs> Why I'm crying is because on one of my videos I was I was having a tower and I was talking about my soulmate and how much I miss her and uh somebody of real low vibration made a comment about that video and they said, you know, shame on you uh for leaving your wife and your your daughter. Well, you know, if if I'm supposed to explain that on here, <laughs> I can. I love my daughter to death. I saw her born. She was blue. She wasn't breathing. The NICU nurse took her over and I just prayed to God that she would survive. And, uh, when I was praying, a light flashed in the, 
in the NICU area, the light f- literally flickered and she started crying. I'm a good father. I was a great husband. I'm the kind of guy that would do whatever the baby needed whenever it needed. I'm the type of person that would die for my my baby and my my wife. Somebody had shot me that day out in front of the target. So nobody can judge me for what I'm doing or what I've done. You know, the people that know the truth know the truth. And uh, I've had my daughter used as a pawn to control me. It's really sad. I had my parental rights stripped of me and visitation only when someone feels I'm worthy. So whoever wants to talk shit online about my videos and what I've gone through, I wouldn't do it. I'm divinely protected. Everybody has the right to their opinion. But you don't have the right to tear somebody down that's been through damn near suicidal events in their life through PTSD. You, you, you can't be that person. You can't be that so unempathic. And I guess there's a lot of people that are because I'm not around them anymore. Unempathetic. You know, and I, before my awakening and, and during all of this, I'm, I'm guilty. My life was fucking bullshit. But I had some good times. Had some bad times. You know, can't we agree to disagree? You know? Can we all get a bong? I just know it's important that we teach our children well. And anybody that knows me and Marley's relationship would tell you that we have a spirit bond. And no one can tell me I've ever been a bad father. You don't know. You don't know. So I'm waiting on money so I can give my daughter some money. <laughs> I'm going to go over to Henderson and drop an envelope and get my car fixed. And hopefully get the fuck out of here. You know, I got to I gotta wait here for a travel pass. I don't want to be here anymore. I know people love Las Vegas and, you know, it's great. And I like to kayak below the Hoover Dam and I like to rock climb out of Red Rock and the food's good. And my favorite is the Wind Buffet. It's all hyphy here. There's people that have immense wealth and uh, then there's broke people that live in the mountains and uh, do their extreme sports and there's motorbikes and 
ATV cars and all this other stuff going on and everything's really cool. But the bottom line is Vegas really, really gave me PTSD. It really shook me up. You know, you can be as simple as getting gas and all of a sudden there's a gang fight or a gang war at the gas station. So, you know, you don't, you don't know. You know, there's an element to Vegas that's very dark. And uh, I'm just sitting up here divinely protected, trying to wait it out. And trying to get back to Montana. So, I hope you'll, like, pray for me and wish me luck. I really need it. Anybody that puts me down is beneath me, doesn't deserve my attention. So, uh, that goes for you too, you know. Anybody that makes you feel horrible, just don't even address it. Don't even give it any energy. You know, you're going to have haters when you do something this cutting edge and you talk about uh, everybody's problems, but they're within your yourself, and and you, you know, you finally made it to your boiling point. I guess. Um, I've talked to several psychologists, and they say what I'm doing is very healthy, and um, what I'm doing is releasing all of the baggage, all of the stuff, letting it all go. And I'm becoming a better person as a result. A stronger person with a better foundation. And I'm hoping as a result, as a result, that I'm helping other people do the same thing. Um, well, I guess I can name a few people recently. Uh, Samantha Rodman and her crew um, from Las Vegas. They're the collective. Um, you know, Virginia and Jennifer. And a lady named Don from Oregon. Have all reached out to me and, you know, have obviously watched. They said that I'm hitting my north node. So, I don't know what that means exactly. I'm not an astrologer, but I know that I believe that I'm destined for greatness. I know that I'm destined to be recognized for what, I, what I've tried to do. And uh, that I did all all of it for a gift for you. That I'm really a good person, and I've just been through a lot. I need people to start giving people the benefit of the doubt. You know, it's it's quite obvious. So. Um, you know, people are either going to love you or they're not, or they're going to believe in you or they're not. And it's up to you to, you know, dig down really deep and find out who the fuck you really are and what you want to do with your life. So uh, that's what I'm doing. It's not easy. I'm really hoping that checks in the mail tomorrow and that I get approved for uh, unemployment for right now. It doesn't feel good becoming a socialist. I like to work for a living. I plan on going back to Montana and getting to work really soon. So um, I got a movie to finish. I got a couple other projects. And uh, yesterday I met a really uh, awesome producer. His name is Stefan. He's from Texas. 
So I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to produce something shortly and uh, and.